very much, Mr. Chairman. The, um, Mr. Mitchell, I just, you know, um, we have uh, interviewed a whole lot of people in IRS, and um, perhaps there's still more to be done. And I, again, I want to emphasize that the members on this side of the aisle are just as concerned about every single taxpayer being treated fairly. And so we've seen the, we've listened, and we've seen the the testimony, and so we've just it's not. I, and I'm sure we will, if there are things to be corrected. I know that there are a lot of things that have already been corrected, based on the IG's report. And um, so you know, I just want you to be assured that we care about these issues too. You know, we have constituents who we want to make sure are treated fairly too, no matter who they are, no matter who they are. And so I want to make that clear. I also want to go back to uh, Mr. Meadows and want to thank you for, again, yielding. Um, and Ms. Engelbrecht, I just, Mr. Meadows is right. There's no targeting over here. We were just trying to figure out, be, make sure that no one was unfairly being impeded from voting. And, and it's a very serious matter for me. But the, the letters that I sent you, uh, some of them concern uh, a report, and the Institute for Research and Education on Human Rights uh, issued that report in 2012, and their report examined your, your organization's activities in North Carolina, particularly with respect to where your poll watchers were placed. Uh, the report said that your poll watchers, and I quote, and, and this is a report, and this is what we were trying to figure out whether it was true or not, Mr. Meadows, um, and it said, go to, to the polls on Election Day and aggressively challenge the registration, the identity, or eligibility of prospective voters, end of quote. According to this report, your volunteers were concentrated in counties in North Carolina that have high percentages of African American and Latino populations. I want to ask you about this specific information in the report. First, of the 25 counties in North Carolina with the highest African American population, the report says that true to vote and volunteers uh, were sent to 24 of them. Is that accurate? I, I don't know, Congressman, because all true to vote does is provide training. The way our electoral process works, citizens will choose their party or candidate of their choice to go and work on behalf of. But true to vote has no control over where citizens end up ultimately working. All right, and the report went on to say that true to vote had poll watchers in nine of the ten counties with the highest Latino populations. So you wouldn't have that information either then? The True the Vote provides training. We cannot place volunteers inside of the polls. Therefore, and, that report is fundamentally flawed. All right. By contrast, according to the report, True the Vote had recruits in only four of the 25 counties with the lowest Latino population. And I assume that your answer would be the same for that. Is that right? It would seem to me, Congressman, that a volunteer would be sent where there were volunteer needs. All right. And who determines those needs? The party or the candidate that the citizen chooses to work on behalf of, or in some cases the county when they need volunteers sufficient just to keep polling places open. The report says you had only two volunteers covering all of the ten counties with the fewest African-American citizens. We had no volunteers covering any county. We provide training, Congressman. Now, if the numbers in the report are correct, they indicate that poll watchers were concentrated in counties where there were more minorities. It, it looks like the organization, if, that, if the report were accurate, was selectively targeting minority voters. And I think you would agree that you don't want that, do you? You wouldn't want that. I'm not saying, I know you're, you're, you're saying that didn't happen, but I'm saying that's definitely not what you would want. No, the, the, the mission of True the Vote is to make sure that every American citizen, regardless of political party affiliation, has the opportunity to participate unimpeded in elections that are free and fair. And on October 29th, uh, your attorney wrote a letter saying this, and I quote, we, and we operate completely in the open with anyone and, and everyone available to see what we do when we do it. Um, is that true? Absolutely. 
And so I, you know, uh, obviously I, I, I hear what you're saying, but you can understand that when we get a report like that, um, we are almost incumbent. I would think Republicans and Democrats would be concerned about those kinds of allegations uh, because those are the things that go to the fundamentals of this country, that right to vote. And you, uh, you made it clear that you don't impede people from voting. Is that right? No, sir. Very well. Thank you very much.